Namaste and welcome. So come to sit in a comfortable cross-legged position and let your hands rest onto your thighs and go ahead and close your eyes and just take this moment to center yourself and begin a soft ujjayi breathing. Really listen to that soothing ocean sound coming from your throat. Now wrap the arms around you and round your spine, relax your neck and then open your chest and draw your arms out towards the sides, bend your elbows and again wrap the arms around you, round your spine and then open your chest and again inhale here and then open and exhale a few more. Really move with your breath here. Now lift and open and stay here. Really squeeze your shoulder blades together, draw your elbows back and then release your arms. And then from here, let's come to lie down So you're going to come onto your elbows and then extend your legs and then lift your chest and root your forearms down and really lift your chest and open here and breathe. You're going to bend your knees in towards your chest and make sure you don't collapse in your chest here. So really lift your chest. You're going to shoot one leg out and then the other. So inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale and continue. Really stay with your breath. Root your forearms down and keep your chest lifted. Even though it might get a little hard, keep your heart open. and then release and then from here cross your ankles and let's come into a downward facing dog and draw your hips up and back root your hands and find length in your arms and your spine Let your heels sink down towards the ground. And just breathe here. Just be here in this moment. Feel your body and feel your breath. And then slowly begin to walk your feet to your hands so you end up at the top of your mat and just let your upper body hang here. Bend your knees and roll up to stand. Open your chest through your feet, bend your knees a little bit and then inhale, lift your arms up, find length here in your torso. And then exhale, fold forward, soft and behind your knees. Inhale, flat back, lengthen your spine, open the front of your body. And then exhale, fold, bend your knees and roll up. And again, inhale, lift your arms up, engage your legs. And then exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back, lengthen and open. And then exhale, fold and bend your knees and roll up. Let's do one more. Inhale, lift your arms up, lengthen. And exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. And exhale, fold and bend your knees and roll up. Inhale, reach your arms up, lengthen and open. And then exhale, hands in front of your heart. 
and then release your arms and then lift your right arm up and side bend over to your left. Your left arm can just hang by your side. Open up and breathe. And then come back to center, lift your left arm up and let's side bend over to our right. Lengthen and open. So your breath is the most important thing. Stay with your breath. And then come back. And bend your knees a little bit, root your feet, inhale, lift your arms up, lengthen and exhale, fold forward. And then inhale, flat back, lengthen, and exhale, downward facing dog. Now as you inhale, lift your right leg up. And then bend both knees and draw your right knee towards your chest and place the foot between your hands. And then lengthen your spine and then lift your right arm up and twist here. Open your chest and root your right heel down. And then lower your right hand down. Lower your left knee down. And then lift your torso up. Reach your arms up. Now lift your ribcage away from your pelvic floor and see if you can go back a little bit in a back bend by lifting your chest up. Breathe and open. And then release your arms down and then downward facing dog and bend your knees and lift your hips inhale plank pose and then exhale knees chest and chin to the ground elbows are kissing your rib cage inhale cobra and then exhale back into downward facing dog and then as you inhale lift your left leg up bend both knees and then draw your left knee in towards your chest and place your left foot by your left thumb lunge pose lengthen here find space and then lift your left arm up and twist and stay here and breathe and then lower your left hand down lower your right knee down and lift your torso up lift in your core and then reach your arms up and again, find length here. Lift your rib cage up and away from your pelvic floor. Lift your chest. Feel how your back muscles can support you here. And stay with your breath. And then lower your hands down. Downward facing dog. Bend your knees and lift your hips. Inhale, wave your spine into a plank pose and exhale, knees, chest and shin to the ground. Inhale, cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. And then as you inhale, lift your right leg up. Bend both knees and draw your right knee towards your chest and place your right foot by your right thumb. Inhale here and as you exhale, bend your back knee and begin to roll up into a crescent pose. Root your right foot down and find length. Press your palms together and then bend your elbows or prayer behind your head. Lift your elbows up towards the sky. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. And feel the sensation here in your body. And then release. Place your hands down. Downward facing dog. Bend your knees. Lift your hips. Inhale plank pose. And exhale knees. Chest and shin to the ground. Inhale. Lengthen into cobra. Relax your shoulders. And then downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up, bend both knees and draw your left knee towards your chest, place the foot by your left thumb. Inhale, create space here and then exhale, roll up, reach your arms up, crescent pose. Press your palms together and then bend your elbows, prayer behind your head. Root your left heel down and breathe here. Relax your shoulders.
and then release your hands down. Now you're going to spin over to your right into a wide forward bend. Now step your feet a little bit closer, soften behind your knees, and then begin to roll up. So we're going to do a little twisting exercise here. You're going to reach the arms out in front of you, palms together, bend your knees a little bit, root your feet, and then twist over to your right and then come back to center and twist over to your left. So that's the movement. And do a little bit faster. So you're gonna inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So your lower body is steady and solid and you just twist from your upper body. Move with your breath. So this creates circulation in our upper body, chest, arms, shoulders, and it stimulates our heart chakra. A few more. And then release. Take a breath. Now interlace the hands behind your back, roll your shoulders back, lift your chest and then fold forward. Drop the crown down towards the ground and draw your shoulders away from your ears and see if you can extend your arms. And breathe deeply here into your shoulders and chest and also your back, your lower back. And then go ahead and release your arms and turn to the front of your mat into a lunge pose. Downward facing dog, bend your knees. Inhale, plank pose. And exhale, knees, chest and shin to the ground. Inhale, cobra. And let's stay here and breathe. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Draw your elbows back. And just feel the sensation in your body. And then go ahead and lower down. And downward facing dog. And then from here, I'm going to lift my left leg up so I can be open to you. And then place your foot between your hands. Anchor your back heel down. And I'm going to place my right hand onto my lower back and then spin my chest open. Stack your shoulders, lengthen your spine and breathe here. It's like extended side angle. It's just that we have our hand onto our lower back. And then go ahead and soften your chest and upper body. Begin to straighten your front leg and then open up into a triangle. And breathe here. And then go ahead and release and bend your front knee. Now spin over to your right into wide forward bend and shift your weight from side to side. Let your spine be fluid, relax your neck, relax your shoulders. Now spin over to the back of your mat, lunge pose. Find length here in your spine and then anchor your back heel down. Place your left hand onto your lower back, open your chest. Stack your shoulders and breathe here. And then soften your chest and your shoulders and begin to straighten your front leg and open up into a triangle. So always allow the transitions between the poses to be just as important as the poses because that's where we create and build our foundation. 
and then release, bend your front knee, and then come into a lunge pose, and then into a wide forward bend. And again, shift your weight from side to side, your spine is fluid. And turn to the front of your mat, step your back foot forward into a forward bend, and bend your knees and begin to roll up to stand. Now from here, I'm just going to turn to face you for a moment. We're going to come into a tree pose and you're going to place your foot on the inside of your calf or your inner thigh. And then bring your hands into a lotus mudra in front of your heart. And let's just stay here and breathe. And for balance, press your foot into your leg and your leg into your foot and gaze at one point in front of you. And remember, some days are more windy than others. So if you fall, then just come back to the pose. Now keep your right leg up. Now bring the right foot behind you and grab your foot with your both hands. Now bend your elbows and draw your elbows back and squeeze your shoulder blades so you get this nice stretch in your chest and also in your hip and thigh. And stay here and breathe. And then release and take your breath here. And then let's do the other side. So bring your left foot either onto the inside of your right calf or inner right thigh. Place your hands in front of your heart in the lotus mudra and breathe here. Now bring the left foot behind you and grab your ankle with both hands. Bend your elbows, squeeze your shoulder blades and breathe here into your chest. And feel this nice opening in your hip and your thigh. And make sure you don't shorten your lower back, so draw your tailbone down slightly. And then go ahead and release and take your breath here. Now come to stand at the top of our mat and go ahead and bend your knees and inhale, lift your arms up and then exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. And then exhale, step back into downward facing dog. Now as you inhale, lift your right leg up and then bend both knees and draw your right knee in towards your chest and place the leg down for a pigeon preparation. Now square your hips here and see if you need maybe a blanket or a block under your right sitting bone. And stay up here for a moment and just breathe. And then begin to fold forward and come to your forearms. Now take your left forearm in front of you and then open your chest and twist here to your right and place your right hand onto your lower back, open your chest. You can stay here or if you wanna go a little bit deeper, go ahead and bend your left knee and grab your left foot. Don't try to push or pull so stay where it's appropriate for you. Listen to your breath and let that be your guide. And then release and center your spine and then 
drop your forehead down onto the ground or onto a block and let's just breathe here relax and release And then place your hands under your shoulders and then slowly lift your chest up. And then from here, come back into a downward facing dog. And then inhale and lift your left leg up. Draw your left knee towards your chest and place the leg down for a pigeon preparation. Square your hips. Take a block or a blanket under your left sitting bone if you need that. And again, let's just stay vertical here and breathe. And then come down to your elbows and take your right arm in front of you. And then twist over to your left. Place your left hand onto your lower back. Open your chest. Stay here. Or bend your right knee and grab your right foot and breathe. And then release and center your chest. And then drop your forehead down either onto the ground or to a block. And relax a little bit deeper with every exhalation. And then slowly lift your torso up, root your hands down, and then come into a downward facing dog. You can just wiggle around here a little bit. And then come into a plank pose and lower all the way down to your belly. And let's come into a sphinx pose. So place your forearms down, your, your elbows are directly under your shoulders and breathe here. You can turn your head a little bit from side to side. So relax your neck, relax your jaw, and let the muscles in your face be totally relaxed. And then come back to center. And if you haven't already, close your eyes. And just gaze up to your third eye between your eyebrows. Ajna Chakra. And then release your chest down. And then turn around and come to lie on your back. And then go ahead and bend your knees. And then bend your knees in towards your chest. And just wrap your arms around your knees. Soften your belly and your chest. And relax your hips and your lower back. And then release. And let's come to Shavasana, deep relaxation. 
So extend your legs out onto the ground and just let them fall naturally out to the sides and turn your palms to face up. And allow the back of your body to yield into the ground. And then soften your front body. Completely relax. This is a time for you to just relax, release and completely let go. A time for you to come home to yourself. And you can stay here in Shavasana for as long as you need. Thank you for joining me and Namaste and peace to you.